going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been away for quite some time, but I'm back. Today's video actually comes in as a request from one of you guys, the subscribers. One of you asked me, how do you do a face cam with the iPhone? It's pretty simple. You don't necessarily need like the latest and greatest equipment to, to be doing videos. You can do stuff on low budget, which is uh, something that a lot of people do because they do this for a hobby, just like me. So you don't necessarily need some expensive microphone. Like this is the Blue Yeti. It's not too, too expensive. It's a hundred bucks. So it's like, I guess you could say a little bit on the cheaper end of um, like a, a mic that you could buy. I also have capture cards like the Elgato. It's about $160 or so, which is a good investment. That's what I use as my, as my own screen recorder. Plus you gotta pay for computer and you gotta pay for editing software. But uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys like the bare bones basics of things that you'll need for this to work. So first off, you're gonna need a phone. It could be an iPhone, it could be an Android device. It doesn't matter, does it have a camera? Good, it, you can use it. I would highly, highly suggest that you get a phone holder that looks like this so that it goes into a tripod mount like this. So now you can use this. This is a very cheap setup, by the way. This is like about three or four bucks. You can get it on Amazon, it's really cheap. But now you can set your tripod down anywhere and have it be recording. It's about 15 to $20 you would spend more to get an actual tripod. That way you can actually put this same phone mount on the tripod and it's much more expandable. It's, you can make it longer, make it shorter. This is, if this you can't, you can't really change. And in addition to that, you're gonna need a computer of some sort that can run editing software. It can be Windows Movie Maker or iMovie. Movie. You can do layering with that software, but the best software you can get would be Final Cut Pro for Mac and then Sony Vegas for Windows. So this is the final process to actually making the iPhone phone face cam video. So I got my phone video already set up. It's on video mode and I can just drop it right in the phone holder. And it's pretty easy. My phone kind of shut off on me. But I can use either the back face cam, which is going the wrong direction. I would recommend that you use the back one because that camera is usually better. Or in this case, I can use the front and then just play my game and use, do easy face cam that way. So once your phone camera is ready to go, you can get your recording equipment together to record your computer. You can record your PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, whatever you have. Just get it together, record it, and then record that with your phone. So then you'll get the audio and visual part of your face and then plus the gameplay or whatever. So I'm gonna give this a try for you guys. I'm gonna play a game and I'm gonna record it on the face cam and I'm gonna show you guys how I put it together in the end. So let's do it. Ah. So the fun part of playing the game and being able to record it with the face cam is now over. Now it's time for the extra fun stuff. Some people call it work, but I call this part more creative because this is where you get all your ideas together of what the video you want to put together and you edit it. I have an open, untitled, fresh new project here I'm working with and I brought in my two files that I had just recorded. This one being the iPhone face cam and then this one being the gameplay I was playing. I was playing Rocket League, by the way, if you're curious. So what I usually do to get started with this is that I drag my face cam clip and I put that on first and then I go ahead and get my gameplay and I put that right under it. Now as you can see this is a bit longer than my face cam. The only reason for that is because I recorded two sets of my face cam so the other half is elsewhere on my computer. So we're just gonna ignore about half of that. Now here's the challenging part. How do you line this thing up? I have three different easy ways you can go about doing this. The first way you can do this, this is even before you start recording your gameplay, is just in the beginning, just count down like five, four, three, two, one. And then while you're doing that, do like a button movement on the screen. So that way, whenever you're going left to right or like, you know, going across this page, you know, you kind of get what I'm saying. You'll basically know exactly when to line it up with your countdown and it'll be perfect. Now, if you're like, all right, man, man, I'm way too lazy to do that. I already recorded my gameplay and face cam. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna try to go back and record this thing. There's another way you can do it and that's by lining up your reaction. So if I'm playing this game and I get a goal and I'm like, yeah, I got a goal. Like I can line that up with when my reaction that I got a goal with. Basically, I'm gonna perfectly sync up when I got the goal and when my reaction happens. So then the game plays in sync that way. Now the third way you can line up your gameplay, and by the way, this isn't really recommended if you want a good ending video product, but what you can do is have your TV a little bit louder. So and if you don't have like headphones or a headset or anything like that, 
but basically what you can do is sync up the audio of the gameplay with the audio that you're hearing from the TV. So that way it's another easy way to get your, your tracks lined up. But you'll also hear that kind of echoey sound in like the overall video product whenever you're hearing the regular gameplay sound with your like face cam audio sound from the TV. It just sounds a little weird, but it's an, it's an easy way to sync up your gameplay. So what option am I gonna choose for this demonstration? I'm gonna try to do this by reaction. But before I go there, as you can see, this entire top clip of my face cam is blocking out all my gameplay. I can't see my beautiful playing skills of Rocket League. So what, I'm, my hard drive is failing. <laughs> Anyways, to actually get my face cam box, I'm gonna click on this crop icon on the clip of the face cam. And this box is gonna pop up. And basically, I'm just gonna drag this out. And as you can see, it's appearing on screen already. And I'm just gonna drag it to one of the corners of my video. Let's just kind of put it there. And I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna drag it out some more. You guys can't really see that fully, but there you go. And we're just gonna put myself in the corner like that. And then now, as you can see, it's a little bit boxy. Uh, I'm taking up more of the actual gameplay than I need to. So I'm gonna go down here to mask, and then I'm just gonna mask myself out, like so. Uh, yeah, like that. Bam. Bam, thank you, ma'am. So now, not a lot of my face cam is taking up all the space like that. It, it's, it's much more condensed. If I need to tweak it some more, make it larger or smaller, I can still go back up to position and then switch between the two. I make this a little bit easier by lowering the volume of the game just so I can hear myself a little bit better. That's always a good idea when you're editing because you never want your gameplay louder than your face cam audio. Oh, All right, see God. right there? I gave a reaction of like, ah, oh, I gave up a goal. Like, and it was perfectly in sync. And I was just kind of playing with this here and I can tweak it more. Like, oh. If I think it's in sync, I'm just going to align my gameplay with my face cam. So that way nothing's going to get out of whack any other time soon. I'm just going to line these up together. And usually when I'm editing videos like this, another thing I love to do is by selecting all of the tracks together that are now aligned and right clicking and going to group and then going to create new, that actually locks in the clip. So now that they're like, I can click anywhere and they won't come apart and it's just wonderful. It's easy to edit and now I can make splits and everything still stays together. It, it's it's fantastic. So as you can see guys, this is pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated about it at all. Just have the proper equipment like I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. If you have that, things are gonna be a, a total breeze. Just record your gameplay with whatever software or equipment that you have. Use your phone, iPhone, Android device, doesn't matter. Use that to record your face cam. Make sure you get all those files out onto your computer. Then drag those files into your editing software and then just do a layering effect. Have the game play under your face cam make sure you get the face cam into the box like I had in the corner just like I showed you when I was editing it pretty straightforward not hard and cut your gameplay up you don't have to have like some hour-long gameplay because believe you me no one's gonna sit and watch an hour-long gameplay I I haven't yet to do that so just cut it cut that gameplay up that gameplay is way too long you need to cut it anyways real quick to show you that I'm not bluffing with my abilities to sync up gameplay here, here's a little example of what I just did Oh, you missed. And I missed too. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, so this face cam is just a little bit of an example of how to do it. See, the lighting is just terrible. Like, obviously, you need to invest in good lighting equipment. That That's always a plus. Because I don't look too good right now. But I'm just playing some Rocket League right now. Oh, this guy's terrible. He just completely missed the ball. Doesn't mean I'm that much better, but. Okay. That's gonna do it for today's tutorial, you guys. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.